Here is how I made $3.3 million in under 12 months before the age of 23. Now, my name is Bridger Rogers, and I'm the founder of the Bridging the Gap Sales Training System. And today we're gonna talk about exactly three steps that I took to go from broke, bagging groceries, making $7.85 an hour, to be able to literally make millions of dollars helping some of the people that I look up to, like Greg O'Gallagher, founder of Kino Body and a number of other different brands and businesses. So a little bit of background about me, guys. I grew up in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And see, before I got into the online world, I was planning on going to college getting a nice nine to five job, maybe becoming an attorney, a lawyer, uh, who knows what I would have gotten into. Uh, but I knew that that wasn't the route for me when I started to look underneath the covers and look at how people were actually living their lives in these corporate cubicles, they're smashed in, uh, they don't have any time freedom, they have to ask a boss when they can take time off from work. I felt like it was school all over again, getting a hall pass to go to the bathroom. Well, maybe not that far, but it gets pretty bad when you when you really start to look under the hood. And so I was, I was starting to look around and that's when you started to see these internet gurus popping up, right? I'm 15, I'm 16, I'm 17 years old and I start seeing these different gurus. Ty Lopez here in my garage. Anybody remember that? Leave that in the comments below. I started to see guys like Grant Cardone, right? The millionaire booklet, I bought that, seven steps to becoming a millionaire. And I started to get into the online personal development world, right? The internet marketing, personal development, high ticket sales. And I started to learn one thing, the first lesson that I wanna share with you, the first step that I took to becoming a person who can create millions of dollars of revenue is I had to learn how to invest in myself. I had to learn how to bet on myself because if you don't embet, bet on yourself and invest in yourself and you increase the value that you can bring to the marketplace, the value you can bring to businesses, then there's no way that you're gonna be able to level up. You're gonna stay at the same level. So the law of the lid states that you will not surpass your ability to invest and level up yourself. Okay, meaning a company, a business, your life will never exceed the level at which you're able to level up yourself and your identity, right? There's a couple of different books on this. I read this in the 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership when I was reading this at 17 years old. John C. Maxwell, great book. And uh, it's really, really true because if you don't see yourself as an asset, then you're not gonna be able to provide value to people, right? If you see yourself as a liability, you're going to be putting yourself in a compromising position. I can still remember it clear as day, okay? I'm on the plane to visit Greg O'Gallagher, okay? If you wanna watch that vlog, it'll be annotated right here. I, I documented the entire thing, but I'm on the plane to go visit Greg. And there was one skill set that I knew that I needed to have in order to have an impact on Greg, and that was the ability to influence. You see, sales is really just the ability to influence. It's the ability to get someone to understand that what you're offering them is gonna be more valuable than if they said no and that's to get people to say yes, right? One of my mentors, my friends, Andy Elliott, lives right across the, you know, the pond, 20, or not pond, I guess, right across the desert 20 minutes away in Arizona. You know what he says? He says, you wanna make it easy for people to say yes and hard for them to say no. And so I showed up in Toronto and I used my ability to influence and I built a relationship with Greg. Now, fast forward, I nurtured that relationship, I invested in that relationship, I added value, I led with value, and fast forward to today, now I've been able to be business partners and best friends with him. And so the first thing you need to realize is that you're not gonna get anywhere without investing yourself and taking a big risk. I had to get out of my comfort zone, travel on my own at 18, spend my last money to travel all the way to Toronto for an opportunity to be able to work with one of these influencers that I dreamed of, right? If you're watching this right now and you're thinking, well, you know, I'm a little bit afraid of leaving my nine to five job. I only have a couple grand saved up or 10 grand or 20 grand or 50 grand saved up and you're sitting there and you're not even having to relocate, you're not even having to travel, you're not, you, there's no risk for you. There's a risk if you stay in the nine to five and pretty soon you get sucked into the matrix and you spend two, three, four, five, ten 10 more years doing that and you're so much further behind and you miss this golden opportunity, which I'm about to share with you here in a minute. In fact, I wanna share that with you right now. The golden opportunity is point number two, mastering one skill set which is high ticket sales. The ability to master the ability to sell high ticket products between $2,500 and $25,000 plus will directly impact, I believe, your quality of life, the type of person that you'll end up marrying. And so for me, when I was sitting down you know, at my desk, figuring out what I was gonna do with my life, I needed to know the thing that I developed a skill set in would be around two, three, four, five, ten 10 years, a decade later, 
and would be able to consistently bring me the income that I wanted and the lifestyle that I wanted. And so high ticket sales is so incredible because uh, I was just on a call literally yesterday, right? I took two calls yesterday, shout out to adspend.com. The first call ended up sending proposal to, we'll probably close later in the week. The second call ended up closing them on the spot, took about 45, 50 minutes, closing for $15,000. I make 10% commission on that deal. I made 1500 bucks up front and I'll make 500 bucks a month for three months. It's 5K a month. Guys, if you do the math, if we count the first call, I made 750 bucks an hour. That's more money than almost 99% of the industries, doctors, lawyers, engineers. And I was able to do it all from the comfort of my desk right back here. Okay, and I, I show sales calls, breakdowns on this channel, so make sure you're subscribed. What's up guys, it's Bridger. A lot of you guys ask me, how can I work directly with you one-on-one -on -one and learn this high ticket sales skill set? I wanna get the certification, I wanna get the training from you, I wanna get the mentorship, I wanna get placed into one of the 100 plus business owners that you have networks with, connections with. How do I do it? Well, first link in the description here on YouTube, or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram, just DM me apply. DM me apply, and uh, I'll go ahead and send you out the link. We can jump on a call and see if you're a fit. Let's get back to the video. The third point that I wanna share, and this is really what I wanted to, to get to in the beginning, is that there's four progressions that you're gonna to need to make as a high ticket sales rep. The first progression is as an appointment setter. An appointment setter is someone who calls upon leads or DMs or text leads with the intention to book a qualified appointment for a closer to close the deal. And they'll make anywhere from three all the way up to 7% commission and potentially a small base. So you're gonna make on average three to $5,000 a month, seven, eight, nine, 10, or even 15, $20,000 plus for some crazy offers as an appointment setter. What you're really learning as an appointment setter is the ability to build rapport with people, win friends, influence people, and ask very uh, specific questions that get you the information you need, generating a little bit of curiosity, a little bit of intrigue, and then assigning homework, booking the call. I have an entire sales process that I teach inside of my Bridging the Gap Closers Academy. That's step number one. Step number two, once you've mastered that, and you can do appointment setting if you have any background in sales or you're, you have the ability to communicate and influence uh, pretty well. I've always had that, that ability in, inherently. Uh, I was able to go from an appointment setter to a closer within two weeks, right? I was able to level up my skills when I was working with Todd Brown Marketing and went from appointment setter to closer in two weeks, right? And I've, pr I've probably honestly only spent up a month top setting appointments, right? I've set my own appointments, but at a company, a month tops because of my ability to do this next. As a closer, your job is to close deals. When the prospect says, no, I need to think about it. Let me talk to my wife. It's too much money. Not sure. Call me back later. Your job is to handle all of those objections and close the deal by transferring certainty, getting to the bottom of it, building a gap, establishing a gap between where they are and where they want to be, and closing that gap with the product, program, or service that you're selling. And that is the Bridging the Gap sales system. And if you want to learn more, like I said, first link in the description to book a call. Now, lastly, I want to really just shout out the third and fourth evolution of this position. Most people don't talk about this. Right? A lot of people in the industry, appointment setter, high ticket closer, make tens of thousands of dollars a month. That's awesome. I've done that, that's incredible. I teach people how to do that. The thing that you're gonna wanna do when you're in these positions is study like a maniac. Imagine you're in school. The training doesn't stop when you get in the position. The training just goes to the next level because my goal is to get to the third evolution and that's when I no longer am even trading my time for money. I own an asset, I own a team. That's a sales team leader. A high ticket sales team leader has the ability to duplicate his skill sets and influence the other members to produce at a higher level. He's a coach, he has the ability to influence and transfer the skill sets that he has learned and coach and consult and help them get from where they are to where they wanna be with their skill set, right? He's reviewing calls, he's running daily sales team meetings, and he's taking a percentage override of the floor. Now. That skill set's awesome. You can do that. You can make a percentage. You probably aren't, honestly aren't going to make much more than a closer. The only difference, you're not going to be working the long hours that a closer does. Or, you know, if you want to become a top closer, you can become one of the, the lifestyle closers. You can do four, five, six calls a day, make 10, 20, 30,000 a month. If you want to really go to the next level, though, then you're going to need to spend 8, 10, 12 hours a day on calls. That's what I was doing because I was a maniac and wanted to master it. Sometimes, though, I'll take six, eight calls just to chill. Right, it really just depends on the season of life that I'm in. We'll talk about that in another video, how to know which season of life you're in and how to operate those different seasons. Now, for me, one of the things that I, I really loved to see was the evolution from three to four. Now that you've got the skills to be able to duplicate sales, 
Now you start your own business. You become a business owner or a partner. If you partner with businesses and say, hey, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna handle all the sales, all of the uh, the hiring, the training, the managing the sales team, all I need you know, a partner to do is to generate leads, I'll close them, and then we work together on the fulfillment on the back end. That's what I did for Greg. As I said, hey, you've got this audience, you've got all these leads, but you have no sales team, you have no operations, no systems to be able to close them. Let me be the one to, number one, come in and prove the offer, right? When you step into the fourth position, okay, and you're either a partner or a business owner, what you're going to find is that you're gonna to need to learn a, a skill that I call offer cracking. That means that you have leads, you have some attention, but the product market fit has not been cracked yet. You need to crack the code to the product that you're gonna to sell, to the market that you're able to get attention for, and what's the gap you're bridging for them. And that is the offer cracking. Uh, method or system that you need to develop. And uh, and that's what I was able to do. I was able to come on and close the first, first 30, 40 deals for Greg. And then I duplicated and trained my team, hired people, generated attention as a leader or generated interest, attention, vision. I was able to cast the vision to get them from where they are to where they wanna be. And in that process, over 12 months, we generated 3.3 million. And my top sales rep that I trained went from $0 in sales lifetime to literally having a $22,000 commission month, sold over $180,000 in one month of a fitness offer. Absolutely insane, absolutely nuts. Now he's a very hardworking individual. He worked seven days of work. He, he worked 10, 12 hour days. He loved what he did. Um, and that's why he was successful so quickly. Uh, but that's the results that I've been able to produce. And on the low end, guys would come in and make three, four or five grand their first month. Okay, that's the ability that you can have with high ticket sales. It's not easy, it requires work. You need to have a coach, you need to have a mentor, you need to have a system to learn sales. Guys, I've invested over $300,000 in masterminds that some of them cost me $70,000, right? One of my close friends, uh, one of my mentors, Cole Gordon, if you go to his mastermind, it's $70,000 for the year at the time of this video. And they might even be raising it, right? I invested in that, spent a year in that, right? I've, I've worked with different sales coaches, mentorships, and the reason I share that with you guys is because this isn't a one and done, right? A lot of the times you can find a course that'll get you a huge expansion. This is a continued process of learning, right? Find a vehicle, go all in, and stay consistent with that. Don't get shiny object syndrome. Get around the right group of guys that are creating the same result and stay consistent with that. If you wanna get around a community of other like-minded men between the ages of 18 and 25 that are committed to getting to their first $10,000 a month online with high ticket sales, then fill out an application and I'll talk to you on the phone We'll see if you're a good fit. But do not book a call if you're not willing to invest in yourself and be willing to not only spend time, spend the money to invest in my certification, my training program, but also be willing to set aside any sort of ego you have, anything you know about sales, or if you're brand new to sales, you must be, you must be hungry and willing to go all in to create the life of your dreams. And if you do that, if you commit with me, I will not let you fail. And in 60 to 90 days, you could be living a totally different life. So you might be wondering, well, Bridger, how did you actually do the 3.3 million? Well, I, I sold a program, a fitness program, that we charged 3,500 to $5,000 for, and I would have four or five closers on the phone taking six to eight calls a day. We close on average anywhere from three to upwards of eight deals a day. Do the math, over a year, 3.3 million. And that's really it. Like that same process, there were setters, there was closers. I was managing the team. I was helping with the fulfillment on the back end to make sure that we were having satisfied, happy clients. And then Greg was doing the marketing and the content. It was a great team, it was a great system. When you can understand how to crack the code to a new offer, with a, a potential influencer or market, it's a total game changer, right? But you need to have the high ticket sales skill set and have at least two to three years. I had two to three years of high ticket sales experience, over $2 million of programs, products sold over the phones, right? I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have the experience and didn't have the skill set, right? And the mentorship prior. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you wanna learn more, there's gonna be a link in the description to book a call. Otherwise, keep watching content until you're satisfied and you're ready to go all in. It's totally free, all the information here, everything you need to get up and running with high ticket sales. We'll see you guys in the next video. Talk soon.